my face just above the left eyebrow towards the tip where it goes back towards the temple there's a scar just above the eyebrow there that's about maybe a little over half an inch long about maybe two-thirds of an inch the way i got that scar was from my mom throwing a knife at me i know that sounds crazy i was only nine years old when this happened I had such a an intense sense of justice and what was fair and what was right and wrong and I was willing to stand up for it and fight for it for myself and for my twin sister when we were being mistreated and abused by our parents. I was willing to take beatings for standing up for myself and for my twin sister. Children who have a accelerated intellectual development, it's also correlated with moral development. Children who are gifted will oftentimes act out when they're still very young in ways that can be explained through this understanding. Giftedness is an attribute of a child that's it's a needs-based attribute. It's not necessarily a gift in the sense that it makes life easier. Children who are gifted are exceptional and children who are gifted and to also have maybe a learning disorder such as ADD or ADHD or dyslexia, but they're also gifted, then these children are twice exceptional is what they, what they call them. And I think to myself that is so... That is so two-dimensional to really articulate and describe what that experience is. To say that someone's exceptional and twice exceptional, it doesn't really give justice to that experience. And, and, it, and it almost, having ADHD and also being gifted is not, I did not experience my life as being twice exceptional, not in an environment where those attributes are recognized, developed, and nurtured. My twin sister and I, we both show attributes of being gifted, but I wanted to also talk about this idea of being bright versus gifted using us as, as an example there were some attributes of her behavior and the way she learned that outlined what a bright child what they look like there are ways that that i learned and the way that i acted that outlines what a gifted child with with other exceptions thrown in looks like such as a giftedness with adhd but the fact of the matter is is that my twin sister is beyond bright even though she behaved like a bright child would on the exterior she was very much a genius and even though i was perceived as being slow when someone's gifted they have the potential be to be talented and accelerate in, in many different aspects or areas of their life the fact that my twin sister and i had so many so many challenges in our environment growing up even even though she's a genius and she has the capacity to accelerate in a number of areas intellectual you know at, you know she i mean she was able to you know linguistics uh she's talented with math and analytics so she learned how to code back in the late 90s and early 2000s so she was an early adopter but she also wanted to be able to form and not only interpret but also form the media that she was using she's very much a genius in that regard she wants to innovate and be a part of that process that's her area that's where she chose to put a lot of her energy for me even though i have the same kind of apt aptitude to excel in that regard that's not where I where my where my interests lie. My interests lie in the science of the soul, of the mind, and you know what makes people tick and why do we do what we do. Where I poured my energy into, and so my twin sister, sister and I are both gifted, and we're both intellectual and smart in our own ways. What I find interesting about the dynamic between my twin sister and I is that growing up because she looked like the more stereotypical bright or gifted student and i looked like a problem child and i was also perceived to be slow average or smart i didn't care about any of it i just didn't want to be in school my twin sister and i we do we do have a lot of attributes of what what it looks like you know to be gifted bright but really we're both gifted the dynamic has changed now that we're adults what i am interested in what i've obsessed about most of my life it's not something that my my twin sister really has a lot of interest in or knowledge about. When we were growing up, she was easily able to kind of lord her superiority over me and 
I didn't really have much self-esteem back then, so I just was like, okay, well, I'm dumb. Uh, I'm a problem child. Okay, whatever. I don't care. What, call me whatever you want. So I really did kind of internalize and believe a lot of the bullshit that I got shoved down my throat by not only my twin sister, but also people around me. But now that we're adults, now that I know better, <laughs> Uh, she's not able to do that to me anymore, and of course she doesn't have the desire to. My twin sister always told me growing up, gosh, you're so stupid, you're so retarded, you're so dumb. And we always, we both knew that was bullshit, but, but I did grow up with this idea that there was just like this huge chasm between us, that she was just so much smarter than me, and, and, um, I just kind of internalized that and accepted that, and I didn't really care. It didn't, it had no bearing on my self-esteem at the time, because I didn't really have any, I didn't, I didn't give a shit. I was just obsessed with basketball and getting through the day. <laughs> that was that was basically me. Anyone who knew me back then would say that's yet yeah, that's Carrie. To learn from my twin sister, I can still learn from her while looking back and saying, yeah, this is this is what it looks like to be gifted versus bright and this is you could have attributes of both in the same person and also acknowledge that that person is completely a genius. My twin sister is a f is a flippin' fucking genius, but she had all the hallmarks of a child who was just bright. And I think that is just silly. You don't know. You really don't know what's going on. And the reason why she had the, the, she only exhibited the outer attributes of someone who was just bright is because that's her, that was her survival <laughs> technique. That was her survival mode, was to kind of just make herself small and just kind of fit in. For me, it was, no, I, obviously anyone who knows me, no, I'm not trying, I'm not trying to fit in. And this is why I couldn't, this is why I had to stop going to Bible study. I couldn't make myself small and fit in with the way they, that they learn. It was the gifted child who was just like, no, I can't learn like this. This is torture. This is what it means and what it looks, looks like to be bright or gifted and twice or thrice or quadceptional or basically to be fucked up and have a fucked up childhood and also be intelligent.